What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? Greg and Sally are returning for a sequel reaction to I wanted to say this smoother. It did not go as according to plan. Pitch Perfect <laughs> 2 is what we want to watch today. Pitch Perfect 2. Now, last time Sally was visiting California, she's back in the heart of NYC right now. Um, you know, so she can't be here, but she's here. Doing what Mary Jane does best. Doing what Mary Jane does best. Guys, go check out the trailer for her Mary Jane short film. She is hard at work plugging away at the editing system, whipping other people into shape to get it done. Go ahead. Support it. It's the way to go about life. Sally, are you excited for Pitch Perfect 2? I don't think anyone is as excited as you are. Guys, Greg is so hyped for this. I've never seen... He's more excited about this than, like, John Wick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know, I'm more excited about this than actually having met Keanu Reeves. I'm more excited for this than anything else. <laughs> yes, that's right. Guys, you know what to do. Be a perfect reject by leaving a like. That would mean the world. Also, uh, subscribe and click that notification bell. Get notified when our reaction for Pitch Perfect 3 is up. We got to complete the trilogy, don't we, Sally? Don't we? Yes, we do. Yep. Full trilogy on this channel. No disappointments. And also, massive thank you to all who followed our Patreon via the first Pitch Perfect movie. Um, as always, full-length reaction watch-alongs where you sync up with your own copy of Pitch Perfect 2 available for our Super Sexy Rejects exclusively. However, we do cover stuff exclusively over there as well. All right, Salamander, you ready to kick in action? Or whatever the phrase I is. I am <laughs> so ready. Let's do it. Should we do vocal warm-ups too? Red leather, yellow leather. Oh, ma, 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 ma. <laughs> ma. My name is John Smith, and sitting here to my left is Gail Abernathy McCadden Feinberger. Oh, this one's gonna stick, John. Well, you saved the Jew for last. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Didn't she direct this one? I think so. Now here they are. Performing for the President of the United States on his birthday. Wow. What an insane. What? Holy that's crap. actually Obama and Michelle Obama? What? They say you're free when we're having fun. We got the world. We got the world. Well. It's going down. I'm yelling to my. Oh, yes. The chills are back. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even like five minutes in. Nipple chill moment, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's Becca Mitchell, leader of the group. Look at these sequins. She's I'm already dancing. Becca's the official leader. Is that blonde bitch gone? Yeah, I guess so. I have like Miley Cyrus clothes off, twerking in the bras and thongs. Timber. Face down, booty up. Timber. That's the way we like to what? Timber. I'm flicking in the oil spill. She's like, look at her. <laughs> Obama's having a great time. <laughs> That's insane. I'm still not over that. Oh, Florencia Fuentes just turned her green card, John. She may have to do that backflip right back over the fence into Mexico. I think she's Guatemalan. Oh, what? My oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Kimball! Yes! <laughs> An overweight girl dangling from the ceiling. Who hasn't had that dream? <laughs> Why do I feel like there's an accident about to happen? I feel it too. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She has no underwear on. Oh we have a commando situation. Oh. There is a commando situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quickly, no. Take her back up. Pull her up already. She's turning. She's turning. No. Brace yourself. She's coming. She's coming. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Nobody wants to see this bread. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rough. Amy gave the president a birthday gift from down under during last night's celebration. Chip, I'm talking about her vagina. She showed her vagina to the president. <laughs> I love that guy's reaction. An accident. <laughs> Although authorities have ruled out terrorism as a motive. <laughs> <laughs> it's a national disgrace. Yeah, but I'd rather be in that limo ride home with the president, cut to the real president. He'd be like, that shit was off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> I like vaginas. That's my <laughs> Obama impression. <laughs> nope, vagina. 
Before coming to Vardan, I had diarrhea for seven years. Ew. But yes, this is terrible. <laughs> it reminds me of Fez from that 70s show, but like a girl version. Unfortunately, an example must be made. It is the decision of this governing body that the Bellas are hereby suspended from- What? It was an accident. Like, no one did it on purpose. Who's gonna sing the national anthem at the Puppy Bowl? A German group of total professionals. In other words, they're gonna keep their pants on. Sons of bitches. So basically the Bellas are over. But the truth is, you're just women. <laughs> and you'll all be <gasps> pregnant. <so. laughs> It's so true, Sally. Oh, I can't. I know, that's oh, why I'm offended. Haley Steinfeld, I heard she was in this. Oh, yeah, I like some of her music. Can't stop you from going to the world's no. competition. Not going to help your case here. Not at all. What if we win it? What if you win it? <laughs> like, <laughs> what if you win it? <laughs> so mean. What if, what if you win it? Yeah, if we win, will you reinstate us? Sure, but no American team has ever won. Oh, this is about fighting for America. They're gonna win. The whole world hates us. <laughs> Suck it too hard on a lollipop. Oh, love's gonna get you down. Suck it too hard on a lollipop. She's a player in a down rap ball. Jesus loves her. She wants more. Oh, bad girls get they don't care what songs they sing i was gonna say like if this were a real university like they would be getting me put up so bad right now <laughs> like people would be yelling stuff i know it someone drop some bass love, 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 say love, mm -hmm. love, now i need some nice. baritone love love love, 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 love. sing it greg i'll be the baritone <laughs> <laughs> Wow, they can never win again. They're so good. They are very good. That's great news. Yes. No, I can start Monday. I'm. I would be stoked. What are you thinking? I want a hundred percent commitment and laser focus. Right? Yes. Great. I will see you Monday. No, Becca. Hi, Benjamin Applebaum. At yeah. your service. I just have to say, you are so spirited. I, I just want to put you in a box and saw you in half. Nice. As a part of a trick. What? Uh, oh, yeah, that, that's right. He's a magic. He's the magic boy. I was out of context. That was weird. Dude, why do I feel so guilty? I've given a lot to the Bellas, right? It's like three years of my life. Yeah, Beck, you should not feel guilty at all about taking your shot. This is a big deal, right? Yes. No. Becca. Support a boyfriend. Did he dye his hair? It looks darker. In the age of the internet, you're better off just staying with the acapella group. Really? You think so? Are you doing a British accent? Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know why that came. Has to help Frank watch YouTube videos to find the next Justin Bieber. Oh, it's Keegan Michael Key. Yay! I love him. That is the legendary Snoop D O Double G. But now he wants to drop his own cool Christmas album. What? I need all hands on deck right now to come up with ideas on how to make this one stand out. Come on, Becca. Let's see why you left the Bellas. She's like, we could remix. What if we got those dogs that bark jingle bells to back him up? That is a really great example of a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother is Catherine Junk? Word is she has a five octave vocal range. You do not want to hear that woman doing it with my dad. What an odd thing to say. Got Anna Kendrick and Haley Steinfeld in the same movie. <laughs> when tomorrow comes. I'll be on my own, feeling frightened of the things that I don't know. When tomorrow comes, I know the road is long. I look up to the sky, darkness all around. No, that one I'm not, I'm still kind of tinkering with that verse, so it's not, nothing's really completely set. <laughs> you are my flash of light. Would you excuse us for just one second? What are they going to do? I'm nervous for her. I don't think we should decide anything without Ben. Thank you for saying I'm doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what she said. 
Welcome to the Bella! Oh, I am Maka G! Woo! Oh, oh girl stuff. Sorry. <laughs> My first college party. This is acapella only. Yeah. So get prepared to meet a lot of sexually confused men. Bella! <laughs> Enter. <laughs> Thought she was with you. Benji, right? Clegg, sorry. Dorfless. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, the, the movies. Are you asking me out? Nice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chloe asked where you were. Why didn't you tell her? She's like locked in on the worlds right now, and I'm looking for the right time. I'll tell her. Bumper's back! Woo! <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Oh, Bumper, you know, shut your face and kiss me, Bumper. No. <laughs> Bumper, please, just shut your face. He's doing Gollum. <laughs> My precious. We're sisters. I can't believe we're sisters. Yeah. Chloe texted me, we added a legacy. I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Becca, you better get your priorities straight. Got work to do. And you only got one shot. You gotta sing for America. And for every other country in the competition. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, they've already started out with quite a bang. Oh, this is pretty cool. Um, Ooh, this is good. Yeah, it's like the Terminator <laughs> of <laughs> Vaca Pelliger. <laughs> How are we gonna compete with a group that size? They're so freaking insane. Yeah, their choreography is crazy. <laughs> I do love this song. It's a great song. We didn't come here to start something with you guys. We just wanted to check you out before the world where we're going to kick your ass. You are so tiny. Like an elf. Or is it a fairy? She played an elf in that one movie. You are like a troll. She was in trolls. Oh, she was in trolls. <laughs> and now I really must go rest my neck. It is sore from looking down on you. Oh, Jeez. nicely put. I'm going to use that. We're gonna beat DSM at their own game. Do what they do, just better. The important thing is that we have fun, right? Uh, no, uh come on. <laughs> You're the dumbest person alive. Uh, <laughs> why do I feel like Amy's like meaner in this movie? Pretty sure they mean her up. Did they explain what happened to the blonde girl? No. Was she older than the other ones? Did she just graduate? I don't know. I feel like they should explain it. Yeah. Damn, they're going way more sexual this time. Jeez. I was wondering if you could give me some pointers, maybe. And, you know, with the singing, I don't really know exactly where you're going to put me in on the songs. Don't but don't need I... to be rude. I just have somewhere that I need to be. You know what? That felt rude. That did feel... Like, I felt that in my soul. Yeah, I was pretty upset. I was not expecting... <laughs> There's nothing, nothing special about it yet. Do you know what I mean? Hear me out. Please, Dax, please. We can remove oh. the sleigh bells and put in kalimba. Um, just have him sing it again the same way. Who are, who are you? Nobody. Literally nobody. I just had a thought. What is the idea? She's going to mess with the beat. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in the winter night. See, I told you she was going to remix it. That's her thing. Oh, damn. She's actually doing a really good job. Oh, shit. This sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Good thing she knows the song. 
We'll conspire as we dream by the fire. Here comes Santa Claus. I want this on my Christmas playlist. You belong with the Bellas. Greg, you are so upset about this. It's great. You can sing. Yeah, I'm like a three-time collegiate acapella champion, so. <laughs> Both huge wow. successes in our fields. <laughs> Dax, turn around right now and, and, and watch this exchange. That's value added. <laughs> it's so mean. <laughs> that, that's value added. <laughs> That's so funny. She did something that was helpful, and now I'm going to reward her. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, we, we've got an idea. Me too. Water skis, but for dry land. Real player. You know what I'm talking about? Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, looks like we've been invited to sing at some kind of a party. Well, there's just an address and a password. How sexy and mysterious. <laughs> I tell all my tea from other people. <laughs> what did she say? I, I got all Can my, we turn it up? I, I get all my tea from other people. Password. Fart noise. <laughs> Bella's. Oh my gosh, there's so many famous people in this. Yeah. This is the big time. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. The curtains are soundproof. Welcome to the first ever showdown of the National Acapella Laser Ninja Dragon League. The world building in this movie. Yeah, the lore. It's like John Just Wick. Just got expanded. <laughs> <laughs> first we have the Troublemakers. Yeah. Oh, is this like a new version of the riff off? Yeah, probably. Like a weird, like, culty version. Tone hangers! <laughs> They're back. Yeah. And he joined them. <laughs> Pride of Wisconsin, the Green Bay Packers! Oh, what? All right. All right. When I point to you, you sing a song from one of the categories that's going to appear up there on the big board. You have to meet the beat. Here. Turn the beat around. <laughs> But you have to do it. Follow the leader style. Awesome. <laughs> she had thumbs like a truck, 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 thighs like a what, 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 all night long, all night long. That song, the song, song, song. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> <laughs> shake your booty, shake your booty. <laughs> that is not his voice. <laughs> no. Magic Mike. Was waiting for that you, one. You have to. You have to. Yep. Please pick us. Let me have it. Let us have it. Let the world have it. <laughs> <laughs> How about them cowboys? I went sky and top. I went in. Rocking Mount. Mount Clemens. On a full and full match. Oh. And I loved her. And I, I took my key into the house. Yes. A wheel drive. Everyone knows <laughs> this one. Yes. No. Come on, man. No. I got nothing. No. God damn it, I got nothing, guys. <laughs> what the hell? No, he was so hyped. Couldn't have done Love oh, Story this by this Taylor Swift. Dis-ock appointment. Dis-ock appointment. Oh, 
Oh, I was now we're doing Taylor Swift. <laughs> Make love it, don't talk. Walking fast, faces pass, and I'm home. We are never, ever, ever getting back, getting back together. together. <laughs> nice. Getting back together. You go talk to your friends, talk to my friends. Talk Ooh. This person dated John Mayer? I'm confused, yeah. They better have some cameo at the end of Tina Turner and John Mayer. That would be funny. Let's do this face off style. Okay. Oh, oh, they lose now so they can win later. This is how we do it. To all my neighbors, you got much flavor. This is how we do it. Let's Girls, you know you better. Watch out. Oh, nice, nice. Here we go, yo. So what, so what, so what, so scenario. Here we go. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what 90s hip hop jam is that again? She has a small palate. More like a 21st century jam. That's it. Yeah, I wrote it. Why would she do that? You are sabotaging the Bellas. The Bellas, you bitch. <laughs> In light of this embarrassing and unprofessional information, I am forced to declare the sound machine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but maybe they can win later by doing originals. That's what I was thinking. Like, that song sounded familiar to me. It definitely, I think, is the big song of the movie. Maybe. Uh, I'm just kidding. Would you like to have sex later? No! <laughs> you had a chance to check out those demos? Yeah, 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 I did. This dead air between us is a good sign. <laughs> And what you gave me was more mashups. But if you want to write music producer on your tax form someday, then you've got to have an original voice. Look, Rege Rebecca, what is it, Becca? Becca. <laughs> Rejip. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else in here is an intern. You're talented. Everybody else in here is talented. So what the hell makes you special? Do you know what I mean? He's like the epitome of how LA makes you feel. <laughs> to show me who you are as an artist, okay? Oh my God, you mm. call him Haley. Write something original. Yep. Talk about your parents' divorce. Do the cup song again. That's a cover. No, it's not. She did it via a cover. It's Jesse. Text me. Hey, so you might not be able to hear this message because it turns out I have nothing to say. <laughs> 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 I feel like Jesse's barely present in this movie. Yeah. Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> um, it turns out like totally not good enough to be a music producer which is cool and fun to know as i enter the rest of my life oh you're the most talented person that i know and i've met three of the wiggles <laughs> no way what do i gotta do to get that you gotta become more sally become, become more just more of a become more <laughs> Become more. Flash yeah. my badge in front of the president. <laughs> the reason that I brought you here tonight was because I was thinking that I want to date you. Like a real couple. Oh, wow. That's so cute. That's rare that you hook up with a guy and then he wants to date. Doesn't yeah, happen. Yeah, you need to stop sleeping around, Sally. I have. <laughs> you name one bumper and I'll name one fat Amy and yours will be bigger than mine. It'll be cute. And we can put them on our bed that we share. He's going too far. But he, he as a person is too far, you know. No. Uh, that hurt me. Go back to how things used to be and go at it on top of all this expensive food that I bought. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> I can't be tied down by anything. You, you know you feel sad. Nope. I don't want to hear another peep. <laughs> It's just a chance for us to rehearse for worlds. As far as I can tell, it's just for a bunch of old people. You got me so wild. 
is this for the crowd, the right crowd? Mm. Who are you performing for? I know, like what? Honestly, my senses are overwhelmed here, John. You might want to tone down the theatrics. Let's hope there are no props. <laughs> Rock the props out, John. And they're the props. This is more of a circus act than not the performance. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. He's on fire! Oh my god! I'm on fire! Now they lit one on fire. Oh, oh. Hey, good heavens. Oh my god, I can't breathe! Uh. I can't breathe, girl! <laughs> No. <laughs> this is what happens when you send girls to college. Is it? <laughs> One of the things. Are we just going to ignore what happened back there? I was burnt to death because you Aka bitches. Because you were standing in the wrong spot. No, Flo flipped into me. Blame the minority. I'm black, gay, and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it was Legacy's fault. Me? Why? Obviously, we're not going to beat Docile Machine at their game. So, we need a new plan. Like now. Original music. I think the retreat will be a good thing. You girls need to bond heading into worlds. It'll be so much fun. I don't know. No, mom, it's bad. Or bring her back. I'll never get to solo at Lincoln Center. But you're going to get to go to Europe. And you girls can win it. You just made being in Bella sound so amazing. This won't be the end of the Bellas. There are three pitch perfect movies. Yes. Listen, I think... Uh, you're missing a word here. Oh, God. No, 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 no. That's not. Well, it that. looks great. <laughs> Thank you. That's yeah. really sweet. <laughs> when my hands aren't covered in, in glitter paint, do you think maybe we could try that again? Let me know when they're clean. I, that's, I will. You go blow up Lincoln Center. <laughs> it's nice, right? How'd you hear about this place? From yours truly. No way. Oh, there she She's is. She's back. You run this whole place? You know, I realized that I had a knack for barking orders and bending people's will, so I made a career out of it. Fall in line, Bellas! Let's see, she ain't changed. No slouching! Right. <laughs> it is with great sorrow that I had to watch our once proud organization become a national disgrace. You have totally lost your harmony. True. You will be doing everything together until you regain it. Then where are we staying? Sleep in sync. Snore in harmony. Can you get back right there? Several body parts are running right back right now. Thank you. Can you get back up? We're very close, but I think this retreat is really going to let us discover everything about each other. Is that right? <laughs> they look like they're about to kiss. Well, I know. I don't think. <laughs> Want to go home? <laughs> 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 oh my god, a poop song. I can see the perfect sky is I want that song to play every time I go to the bathroom. He was a famous trumpet man from out Chicago way. Oh, 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 I guess those lip notes aren't a problem anymore. Guess what isn't a problem? The lip notes? Oh, yeah. Grown Ups 3. <laughs> we're rediscovering our sound. Because it feels like we're just singing songs that would never go in our set. Sometimes you have to break things down before you can build them back up again. I've got more important things to do. <gasps> Ooh. All is lost is coming up. She's having a breakdown. I don't want you guys to fight. You're Becca and Chloe. Together you're blowy. And everyone loves a good blowy. Oh. <laughs> oh well done. <laughs> A legit music producer wants to hear my words. So why would you keep something like that from us? Because you're obsessed. You all are. This has been my family for seven years. Yeah, because you're too scared to leave. Sack up, dude. Ooh. <gasps> oh, this is necessary. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're just going to leave now. We you're all have to eventually, Chloe. It might as well be now. Wait, Becca. If you all knew what was good for you, you'd follow me. Becca the sun. Oh, my oh shit. <laughs> that was kind of scary. <laughs> Yeah, that like jump scare <laughs> that got me. Oh, we need to get her down. We need a ladder. No, we don't believe in ladders. What? They suggest a corporate hierarchy that is 
counterproductive to my team building what? program. <laughs> 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 oh my god. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any of that stuff I said. I love all of you. I love all of you awesome nerds and I love being a pillow. I'm just so stressed out right now. <laughs> I don't actually know which one of you is which. I'm Jessica. <laughs> 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 I sleep upside down like a bat. She said I sleep upside down like a bat. Yeah, that's scary. That scared me. She's scary. You're so good. It's intimidating. All I've ever wanted is to be one of you. You are one of us. You pay the registration fee. <laughs> <laughs> Totally seems that way. It actually does seem yeah. like it. holding it together. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach underprivileged children how to sing, or I'll dance exotically. Whatever offers the most money. <laughs> <laughs> After I graduate, there's a chance I will be deported. I will try to re-enter this country, but I will probably die at sea. So let's leave for tonight. Yes. Yeah. That's a serious issue. Yeah. I love how no one I, takes her issue seriously. No. <laughs> I don't know. No one knows what she said. Okay. No, she said, I just want to travel through time. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I get it that time? I got my ticket for the long way around. The cup song. Two bottle of whiskey for the way. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, when I'm gone. Oh, this looks awesome. Mm hmm I got the chills. <laughs> I know. What a great little campfire moment. I'd be living somewhere like sick, like Tulsa or Little Rock. <laughs> I'm a professional jelly wrestler for corporate events. And then every night, <laughs> it's me cuddled up with my fiance bumper. And <gasps> Ooh. To win back my band. Go get him, Oh no! <laughs> that was well done. Yep. <laughs> Many times I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> Go to her bumper. Have we become an <laughs> 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 Now there's no turning back when Go Go to her. You still upset? Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the way you did that was so good. Your best to try and wash the I hear your voice inside me. I see your face everywhere. Still, you say we belong. <laughs> There we go. Bump in the middle of the night. Don't tell my boss that we're in here. <laughs> Just skipping their way to a, a whole career. Yeah. I don't like it. What it is is I don't I don't like it when people can do what I can do. You know, in a manner of speaking, it, it's threatening. <laughs> <laughs> He's real for that. <laughs> this is a solid demo with uh, with real potential. Yeah, I look, uh, I look forward to working together. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you, Steph. What is it, Emily. Elizabeth? Steph <laughs> We're taking the photo with or without you. We are taking the photo with or without you. Everybody get together. My girls are all growing up, Sally. Aww. 
Does that mean like a lot of them aren't even in the third one? Is it like a different cast? Yeah, they're like old in the third one, right? They're like old women. <laughs> it's in the future. They're like, we must come together to <laughs> for a solve funeral. world peace. <laughs> for a funeral. <laughs> yes, singing Kumbaya. Bella is making one last attempt to repair a damaged legacy. Can they do it, John? Realistically, absolutely not. Those girls are dead to me. <laughs> Well, you have them as your screensaver, sir. What are you doing here? Oh, you, you know, anything to support the Bellas. Aww. I love you. I have something for you. Aww. What? Way to go, guy. <laughs> you took all of Jesse's screen time. <laughs> yeah. I w yeah, where is he? Wow. This is cool. Oh, that's the pentatonics right there. That was oh, them. Oh, shit. Good catch, Sally. Ah! <laughs> there they are. That's pentatonics. Uh, that's cool. Know. They that's actually so got cool. them a cameo. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen them live. They're incredible. Also a great song. <laughs> they do have a great sound. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Imagine having to watch her competition like before yeah. going on. Sounds truly electronic. <laughs> that was a great transition. <laughs> Damn, that shit's awesome. Yeah. The only thing it's missing is real fire. Why would you watch them? That's like watching someone else audition for your role <laughs> and kill it. Oh, wow. That's good. How are they going to top it? If the Bellas of old show up tonight, this could be the most significant conflict between America and Germany in history. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> we are going to show them who we are, a bunch of ethnically diverse, for the most part feminine, amazing... <laughs> What are their outfits, though, Greg? Hey. It's giving Ellen a generous. Hey, hey, just hold, hold on, Sally. Hold on. I can't. <laughs> the suspense. Don't go out there in vests. Why are you going out there in vests? Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. They're like playing an advanced version of Patty Cake right now. Who run the world? Girl. Nice. <laughs> Who run this mother? Who run the world? Girl. Who run the world? Girl. Who run the world? Girl. Hey, bring it on, baby. All your friends, you're the ish, and I love that body. Sweet. Where them girls at? 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 Mm-hmm. Awesome. When tomorrow comes, I'll be on my own, feeling frightened of the things that I don't know. When tomorrow comes, oh, yes. <laughs> Is it possible the Barton Bellas are doing an original song? God damn right. Mm -hmm. In the dark as you're my flashlight You're getting me, getting me through the night You kickstart my heart when you're shining in my eyes I can't lie, it's a sweet lie Awesome Getting me through the night Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Nipple chills galore! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like past Bellas? Oh, is the mom there? 
I hope so. That's what I was thinking. Oh shit! Yeah, she's Aww, there. Yay! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> They're uniting everyone with their music. America unites everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they keep saying it's an original song, but I know this song. Well, it actually played on the radio after this movie. Oh, is, is it from this movie? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Nice. They did win. Won it. I sing your name. I, Emily. Promise to uphold the ideals of a Bella woman forever. And that's it. That's the end of the speech. It's nothing weird happens after that. <laughs> yes, every Bella must christen the house by sliding down the staircase. Don't worry, I'll show you. Behold! <laughs> oh. uh, I don't want to break my neck. All right, I'm ready. But I also want to do, do that. Woo! <laughs> Pitch perfect dose to the second to the second to the second <laughs> Yes, I love him. <laughs> He's on the voice. Oh no way. <laughs> oh my god. What would I do without your small mouth? Drawn me in and you kicking me out. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> no kidding, I can pin you down. Yes, my head's on no harder, but I. <laughs> He's regretting it. <laughs> <laughs> no! He can't turn that around. That's not part of it. Because all of you love all of me. Love your curves and all your edges. Oh, that's his song, right? Is it his song? No, no, no. Why? Wow, I was thinking of John Legend. That's not John Legend. <laughs> Adam. It's Levine. Adam Levine and go. Adam Devine. That's the joke. His name's Adam Devine, and that's Adam Levine. And they get. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. your name brother i don't even know right now <laughs> <laughs> please just under no circumstances uh, choose me for your coach you're interesting and i can work with interesting okay he got christina christina <laughs> okay thank, thank you, you. Okay. Oh, thank you so much hey mom hey hey amy oh i said hey amy Aww. Yeah, they nice. definitely uh, shot that probably like during one of the real shows. More than likely. That would be cool. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's a mid credit scene. But yeah, that was the joke. Like he, So his name is Adam Devine and he gets mixed up with Adam Levine all the time. So it was so funny to see them in something together. I want to see if Pitch Perfect 2 made money. Or pitch per okay. I know the song made money. My god, I did hear that song on the radio, the flashlight song. The so pitch perfect one only made 115 million worldwide on a budget of 17 million, so it did really well. Okay, pitch perfect two. Holy shit, pitch perfect two made 287 million dollars worldwide off of a 29 million dollar budget what so the first wow. one was like a, a hit and the second one was like a massive hit <laughs> damn wow good for them yeah that's cool i mean for it to be i mean i guess it is based off a book but still for it to be like you know i don't think the book had anything to do with i don't think the book success. had anything to do with it so I, I was gonna say for an original idea for hollywood that's like very different like that's a big accomplishment yeah they, they didn't even double their budget they 
they went wow. just a little under their budget. Like they, wow. Yeah, they, they added like ten more million dollars. And they the had way more cameos in this movie too, which is shocking. It's a cultural phenomenon, Sally. <laughs> Good for them for doing an original idea instead of remaking something. What a blast. Hold on. We just got to wait it out just a couple more minutes. Okay. I want this to be organized and structured. Get your thoughts in order while we wait for a post credit scene. These movies are so fun. They are fun. Have you ever seen the movie Music Lyrics? No. Oh, is that the uh, Hugh Grant movie? Yes. Yeah, I've seen it. I saw that uh, when it first came out. All really? I remember is yeah. the ending. Have you seen the movie Sing Street? It's one of my favorite movies. I've, and it's got an amazing soundtrack. I've never seen Sing Street. You have to see Sing Street. It's so it's such an inspiring movie. I love it so much. I don't know that movie. Yeah, it's actually really popular in the... I actually heard the soundtrack first, fell in love with the soundtrack, realized it was from a movie, watched the movie, and was, like, blown away. It was so good. Bastards. Why do I care <laughs> to sit through credits? Show my appreciation for people. All right, Sally, I'll let you kick it off. Kick it off, dear. Do it. Do the kicking off. You there? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that was a lot. Sorry. Um... It was actually, it's so hard to do sequels, and I think this one definitely delivered. It brought everything it could. It was a little slow, though, for me in, like, the first, not first half, but, like, first quarter or third of it. it, it I think some things were, it was, like, slow. I don't know why. But then I feel like once, once they got to the camp, you know, and we got to see, I forget her name, the blonde come back. That was a great moment. I feel like from then on, the pacing was great. For some reason, it, like the beginning was a little slow for me. But I think the, yeah, I mean, I, I, st I thought this movie was, a, I still had a lot of fun watching it. I don't think it's as focused as the first one is. That's a great that's a great way to put what I was thinking. Your focus is a good because, like, you know, you're you're gonna get to the finale uh, yeah. at, at the at the at the concert with the worlds, but yeah, um, it didn't. I guess it didn't feel like it it it, it was as uh, important or mattered as much as the movie would, would try to tell you it does. Like this, I guess the stakes felt like bigger in the first movie there was more of an yes. underdog and, and and because of that um yeah because yeah they were they were a little bit divided between like her music producing career and the other subplots and our main character cared more about the music producing side than the than the being part of the bellas and and i think because of that even though the music producing side of the story ended up uh like as the movie kind went kept going it. yeah as the movie went it kept getting better um I could see how it's not as strong, but it's still it's still more it's still really fun. I thought like from beginning yeah. to end, and everyone still brought their A game, and uh, it is it would be hard to do a sequel to not just make it repetitive too, right? And so I, I appreciate that they took it in directions that allowed for it to be you know like some familiarity stuff, of course, some beats familiar familiar beats, but they didn't tell the same story again, and it was dealing with like moving on and growing up and like mm -hmm. one last hurrah even though there's a third one but you know, like one last hurrah yeah. uh and and i liked all, all the other subplots as well the 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 part and this is where the 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 divide for me would sometimes happen with some of the music stuff was mm -hmm. in the in the first i'm talking specifically about the sound mixing in in the first one it really felt like they were singing in your ears yeah it felt like they were singing when they were filming yeah. you know it looked like they yeah. were like pointing a camera and they were just capturing them while they were singing yeah this one felt way more produced yeah it felt like there was record it was recording and they were d like uh adding it on top of you know yeah, I, and I, 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 I would be more aware of it this time around um but then 
because of that, it allowed you to get away with some moments that really were funny and worked like, like when Fat Amy is on the on the canoe and, 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 and she's singing. That was so funny. And she's singing a bumper like that's it's hilarious. And and it felt real when they were on stage at the very end. It felt real yeah. uh, when they were singing around the campfire like that felt real. But, but uh, mm-hmm. some of the other stuff prior, it did feel like I'm a, it, it doesn't. It does. It doesn't seem as real anymore. I'm, I'm aware that this is like a recording, and you're mixing it in now. Whereas before, I wasn't aware of it. <laughs> um, yeah. But it's still. It is still. I like. Don't get me wrong. Like, I still. I still really enjoyed it. I still really want to watch it. Through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. Yeah. Like, me like, too. I, I, I could say like by comparison, like yeah, the first one's a better movie, but but yeah. but I still really thought this was a, a great time and and like I'm still like ah oh, my girls I love them you know <laughs> and I want to yeah. I want to watch the third one still I really do so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't deny that but yeah there was the folk the focus wasn't as um, cohesively as you're strong. right it was kind of all over the place I feel like uh, it it finally did kind of uh, coalesce zero by the in end. towards yeah. the end. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it found its focus towards the end. Obviously, it had to with the championship. Um, you know, for me, sequels are always so hard. So anytime I watch a sequel of a hit movie, my my standards and my expectations are already so low because I know that most of the time they can never really mm-hmm. uh, top the first one unless the second one is so different that it feels like its own movie but is still somehow true to the original sort of like message i guess so this one there were a lot of repetitive type moments that they di- but they definitely did a good job of trying to like make them different in a way like for example the sing off that they had in the beginning you or in the first one you're right like that one it actually sounded like they were a real a cappella a real a cappella groups battling each other i feel like with this one they definitely brought it up a notch when they were at that dude's random party that whole thing was weird but like also <laughs> uh like it didn't make sense but also i i enjoyed watching it especially with the green bay packers that that sent me um but that one definitely like sounded more like not realistic <laughs> you know yeah. what i mean but um and then i i don't know a few things i thought snoop dogg would come back uh, oh yeah, that kind of just didn't. It, <laughs> it didn't happen. Nothing happened with that. It was like that, a right? gag that <laughs> never got brought. Back. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, they never, brought, <laughs> they never brought that back, did they? Yeah. So that would have been nice. I also think like maybe to kind of make it a little more cohesive. I feel like it would be cool if there had been like some sort of scene at the end where like that song had been a hit and maybe she got a record deal or like they got a record deal or something from that. Um, because I feel like then the recording studio thing didn't fully, um, make sense, but there was just so much like, uh, conflict. I feel like for like no reason, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, and sometimes they're like, how can we add conflict? And sometimes the, which conflict to care about, like when they were going on the retreat and saying like, we need to go back in harmony and stuff. I guess it didn't register. That was a problem until like they did that performance at the very uh, when 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 everything went to shit and people caught on fire. I was like, okay, I guess this is a problem, and this is maybe what the movie right. should have been about. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 no, that's a good point. That's a good point. I feel like the overall, like, to me, I feel like with what you were saying and explaining, we were we're kind of figuring it out because I knew that there was something kind of like missing with the story that just like there wasn't a through line. You know what I mean? It was, it found it at the end or like kind of in the middle, but it would have been cool if that was more established in the beginning that they just weren't getting along or, or maybe not on the same page with things. Well, yeah. And I think with, with Becca, they definitely tried to do that, but I feel like everyone else was still fine and until it wasn't. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. And the first movie, the, um, like, like, I think this movie is is really saved by like it still wears its heart on its sleeve and it it still has a lot of great music and it, and the performances are still a lot of fun and there's like I like the development of the relationship with Fat Amy and Bumper a lot. Um, I think Haley yeah. Steinfeld is a really That's solid sweet. addition. Um, I liked everything with Ben Platt and Haley Steinfeld. That was really that was really endearing to give him. That some it more brought time a lot of heart to it. Like those two characters brought a lot of heart to it. 
Yeah. Um, which reminded me of the first one with Becca and Jesse, which Jesse, where were you, bro? Where yeah. were you? <laughs> and I and I think um, you know, like the I think the arc for Becca in the first one is just so much stronger of someone who's She like, was also like happier in the first. I feel like in this one she just was like mad the whole time or like annoyed the whole time. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I mean is it the the ending competition didn't hold as much weight because it it felt like our main character didn't really care as care Mm. and that's what the hard part about doing a sequel like this is like yeah you know you can't go like darker (laughs) you can't go bigger and darker with a sequel like this you and you you don't want to just repeat the plot of the first one they're already champions um so yeah like i can see why i mean i heard this as i saw in our comments like uh, people were like it's not as it's not as strong um Mm. But goddamn, you know, like I, I'll admit though, it's still so fucking charming to me. I still thought it was so charming, yeah. and and I think the cast is still so, so great together, and they're they're just some truly funny moments. I, I love. It still had, yeah, uh, it still had some great scenes. It still had some really awesome cameos that we weren't expecting that brought it. It, it made it feel a little more real, like seeing you know the, all the newscaster clips in the beginning and the the yeah. voice part got me like. It was like that. The production of it so well done, and I like Very the well uh, I like the variety of all the performers they had, and as much as they make mm-hmm. like offensive jokes, they really do do like a celebration of cultures uh, at the very end, yeah. which I thought was fun because they they do a lot of offensive jokes. Um, <laughs> yet they they're like they're like oh well no we'll really celebrate everyone at the end though, and I and I thought that was really touching. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I, I don't know. Uh, so I'm like, I don't know what you do for a third one either. Um, but because they've done their own champion, they've done their own like, uh, what was that like state competition, and then they did like the country competition, and then they now they've done the world competition. So at that point, I I feel like the only thing they could do then is kind of do a pentatonix deal where it's like they got a record deal and now they have to like tour you know yeah and that or or be a part of a tour where now they're maybe they're not going to get along with other musicians or other singers on the tour like that's the only thing i can like think of plot wise that could be a sequel so yeah true true um yeah i mean overall still had a great time i i i still feel like the i I don't know i i wouldn't it didn't really go slow for me. It was just a little bit not as strong. A lot of it wasn't as strong for me in the first half, but then yeah. things really started to get better in the last half for me. Uh, yeah. Overall, and that's not to say the first half doesn't have like plenty of moments that I still really enjoyed. But yeah, it's not. A, it's a little, little. The word's not clumsy. It's a, it kind of stumbly a little bit though. <laughs> um, t- a little. T- yeah, yeah. It yeah. wasn't. It didn't flow for me until I would say the camp the camp part and on like that that flowed way better than before um it felt like it was like trying to find its way and then it found its way and, and i was it, like okay i think it was trying to Which find is, its comedy voice again like well yeah that was yeah. the other thing the comedy for me like the first one i think is like funnier this one had diff- had funny moments that like it was like a different style of comedy in a lot of areas in this movie so maybe it was just kind of keeping up with the times cuz i feel like um, I don't know what the what was the gap on these two movies. Uh, I think like two, three years, something like that. Okay, that's not bad. But I didn't like their outfits. That's one thing I'm like, guys. Yeah. That <laughs> for the world comp, what you know would have been cool though. Actually, if they didn't win the world championship, um, but they, but they learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, uh, and, yeah, and, and um, because yeah, like the at the end of the day, as cool as like the German guys' music actually sounded, they seemed like they were out of a sketch, you know. And they were so good in this movie. They were a standout for sure. It's like if the villains, the villains technically, like I felt like were were stronger in this movie. <laughs> Well, they, uh, well, they, I'm a little bit on a divide there because I feel like okay. the, I feel like for me personally, I feel like the, the, you know, it's like the, the ones before they had to beat were the, um, what are they called? The treble makers. Um, yes. they, they had to beat them, uh, but you got to know them, you know, you really got, and they felt right. like, they felt like real people. Whereas the, 
I mean, I don't know. These maybe, were character -y, These were these over were, the top. Yeah, they were sketches. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, they were sketches. I thought those fun though. But they were still fun, and, and they did seem like they'd be really hard to beat. In fact, I'll say like. As much as I liked, the, I like I loved the last performance by the Bellas. I was like, looks like the German people did way better. Honestly. That's what I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it. I was like, is Greg gonna? Because that, that's yeah. where I was getting at. I was like, it kind of would have been good if if the Germans won. It, no offense, yeah. it would have been made a little more sense. Um, yeah, their performance uh, was just so crazy and awesome, and they sound like an electric. Like they really sound like the instruments, you know. And and yeah, uh, that was nuts. Um, but. They, I mean, I really, I really love, I, I really love the performance that the Bellas did. But at the same time, yeah. I was like, I still feel like the other ones really brought the house down. <laughs> I <laughs> guess, no, but I guess it was like uniting, you know. True. Yeah. I, I don't know, but yeah, I feel like it, it would have been okay if the other ones won. I don't think it would have made the ending any less powerful for the Bellas. You know. Yeah, what I mean? like As you win the, you win the respect back of the people yes. still, and you win the and respect you, of the Germans. Learn the meaning of friendship. Yeah, stuff like that. Nice, <laughs> nice stuff. Nice crap like that, you know. Yeah. Um, but overall, yeah, I had a great time. Um, I still, I still really want to. I'm like, I'm dead serious. I still really want to watch a third one. Like, to, yeah, I just I'm like, so I like, down. I just like hanging out with these people. You know, that's the thing. Is like, I like hanging, <laughs> I like hanging out with them, and I like being in the world, and the time passes by. That's and, probably why they did so well because people probably like. I can understand why a movie like this people would go see in theaters because it is like hanging out with friends uh, in an intimate setting, like on a screen. Um, it's like the same feeling like you go to a concert multiple times to see like the same artist. It's because you're kind of just there hanging out with them and music's involved. And I feel like this has the same sort of feel as like you're going to a concert and you feel like you know them because yeah. you've watched them and... Yeah. yeah, and the and the music renditions are always great, which is the main thing you show up for with these. But um, yes, but you, but you lace it together with a good enough screenplay, and um, this this was solid enough to me. I hope Pitch Perfect Three is better. I I wait to see the Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know. I feel like it feels like know. it would be I a just, really upheaval battle to do. No, it. I, I saw a comment that said the third one was like the worst one. I mean, I'm and willing. now I'm nervous. Well, let's see. Pitch Perfect 1 has an 81% critic score and an 83% audience score. Nice. Pitch Perfect 2. I don't know. How to give that movie like 100%? <laughs> I was like, oh, that one's perfect to me. Uh, Pitch Perfect 2, okay, on both ends is 65 and 64. So definitely okay. went down with audiences as well. Um, I see that. I don't want to look up 3. Because I feel like that'll influence. Why? Oh, you're right. Yeah. It would influence. What? Yeah. Okay. I you're right. I, I'm gonna I won't avoid, either. I'm going to avoid three for now and then wait to wait to look it up after. Like I didn't know what Pitch Perfect 2 was until right now. Yeah. Um, but that's good to know. Either way. All righty, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. Uh, still really liked it. Not as much as the first one, but still really enjoyed the hell out of it. And uh, I'm excited. I'm still excited to watch part three because I just love being in this world. It's one of those. One of those where it's like. There are some franchises where the first one remains the best, but I still love the franchise overall, you know? And yeah. it just strikes me as like that kind of experience. Um, leave your thoughts down below what you think of Pitch Perfect 2. Uh, you can subscribe, leave a like, and also follow Sally on her YouTube channel. Check out her trailer for the Mary Jane thing that she has been, Mary Jane, short film that she's been working her ass off on. And, and the vlog will be out by the time this comes out. So Greg is in it. Oh, and yeah. Sweet. And you are in the vlog, so you get to see a little. If you want to see Greg for like a split second in the film, go to my channel. I yeah. have a little sneak peek. Yeah, it was massive. Someone asked if you if you played Uncle Ben. <laughs> I could play Uncle Ben. But it was just so funny. They were like, is he Uncle Ben? <laughs> Peter, the great power comes great responsibility. All right. Boom. With great get shot. Peter, <laughs> great power comes great responsibility. You're not my dad. A, a Petro with a great <laughs> power comes a great responsibility. I feel like I feel like the Italian accent's a little much. The New York, you need the New York Italian. Like I am walking. Yo, here. Peter, <laughs> with great power eh, comes great responsibility. You son of Wait. a bitch, yo. Now I really want to
to see an Italian Uncle Ben like so bad. Beat it. <laughs> Beat it. All right. We're, just I <laughs> we're, we're done. That. So. Okay. We're, we're ending this now. All right. <laughs> I have to recast you now. <laughs> it's, it's done. It's done. All righty, guys. We'll see you all soon. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye.